Have you ever watched a movie that was a roller coaster ride? I don't mean literally. I mean a movie like Boogie Nights or Magnolia. The experience of watching these two pictures for me is like having to fasten your imaginary seatbelt before the movie starts because you're going for a hell of a ride. A cinematic, emotional, narrative, and musical ride. A ride of your life. For me, this kind of ride is one of the best experiences a motion picture can give you. There are also other types of cinematic rides, like emotional rides, such as Paris, Texas, or Hiroshima Mon Amour, or literal rides, like Duel, or Crazy Mary Dirty Larry. However, have you ever seen a horror ride? I'm sure you have, if you've seen The Texas Chainsaw Massacre or High Tension. However, this week, I want to tell you about an unfairly little talked about or perhaps forgotten horror ride, which for me was truly a ride of my life. This picture is Danny Steinman's 1980 semi-slasher film, The Unseen, starring the great character actor Sidney Lassick and Jallo star and Bond girl Barbara Bach, as well as Karen Lamb, Lelia Goldoni, Maida Severn, Douglas Barr, and Lewis Young. The Unseen is about three female reporters covering a holiday parade fair, and after reservation mix-up, are left without lodgings for the night. They soon discover that everything is booked because of the festival. However, luckily enough, they arrange to stay the night at this generous peculiar little man's house, played brilliantly by Sidney Lassick. However, all is not as pink and fluffy as it seems, and one by one, the trio get hunted by some thing lurking in the basement of this house. The main element that makes The Unseen a roller coaster ride of horror is the brilliant audience manipulating script by Danny Steinman, who, throughout his career, wrote and directed a porno called High Rise, The Unseen, Savage Streets with Linda Blair, and Friday the 13th, A New Beginning. Without spoiling anything, The Unseen script is written perfectly to give audiences a great horror ride experience. Starting out that everything seems too perfect in this house, then something sinister starts to happen in the shadows without us actually seeing this thing that is killing the reporters, and then finishing in an unforgettable climax of Barbara Bach dragging the audience with her to discover and experience this horror that is happening in Sidney Lassick's basement. And it doesn't stop there. The film's climactic ending rises and falls, keeping the audience at the edge of their seat and praying for Bach's survival as well as their own. Whoa, that made me tingle. Apart from Danny Steinman's brilliant emotionally structured script, the other element that makes The Unseen absolutely amazing is Sidney Lassick's performance. Lassick gives an incredible versatile performance that shifts from being funny to creepy to sick and mad and it's Oscar-worthy. Also, as you might have gathered, there's a surprise in the basement, so if you plan on watching this film, try not to read anything about it, particularly who it stars, because that will spoil a lot. The Unseen originally starred as a screenplay by Kim Henkel and Michael Vinner, and the final version was so radically altered that neither of these original writers were credited. Also, Steinman was very unhappy about the final cut of the picture, saying that many of the major scares were removed, thus removing his own name from the film, being credited as Peter Follig. With The Unseen having such a fantastic screenplay, and being very frightening indeed, I'm wondering what these other scares could have been. Henkel and Vinner's original screenplay was adapted into a novel called Deadly Encounter by Richard Woodley, which was published in 1980. To my surprise, Apparently Danny Steinman has no idea how to talk to actors, and was very difficult to work with on set, and some of the actors barely talked to him at all. I wonder how such a fantastic picture was made out of that. It's strange how sometimes great movies are made. Apparently, Natalie Wood, who did Penelope, being an absolutely perfect film standing out from the rest of its kind, hated this Arthur Hiller gem so much that she bought herself out of her Warner Bros. contract and didn't make another picture for three years. Anyway, Danny Steinman's The Unseen is one hell of a horror film and one hell of a roller coaster ride. If you enjoyed this video, why don't you give us a like? And hey, maybe subscribe to get more content like this every week.